What's going on guys? It's the Man Sub. Now today I'm making a video for people ranged 18 or men ranged 18 to 26, right? You gotta understand something about life, right? This video is gonna really, it's gonna kind of open your eyes to why there's really no rush, but at the same time, you don't have time to waste. Now, let me break down what, exactly what I'm saying, right? I feel like as a dude that's in your, your 18 to 26, around that range, like, I don't think you should be too hard on yourself. Even if you ain't in a position where you want to be, mentally, I don't think you should look at yourself as like a failure because at the end of the day, that's really what the world is designed to do. They want young people to feel like they're failures because they haven't reached wealth. They haven't reached financial freedom. They still have a regular life or their, their life is below regular. So it's like, you have to bear in mind that we don't get taught nothing in the real world. Like we don't get taught any skills that we can use in the real world unless you actually went and went through a career path of actually going to university and actually getting a degree that's actually useful because a lot of these degrees are scams. But if you got a degree in the medical field or one of those fields, like what's actually useful, that's a small percentage of people. But for the rest of us that decided like you don't want to pursue the college and the educational route when it comes to institutional education, you want to do your own thing, you got to understand it's purposely put in place for you to follow their orders. So you go through the school system and they don't teach you anything about credit. They don't, they don't teach you anything about investment. They don't teach you anything about passive income. When have they ever taught you about passive income in school? Answer that question. When do they ever teach you about passive income, investments, ROI? When do they teach you about profits or any of that? They don't. So it's like, when you understand that, you realize it was designed for you to follow their orders and stay in school. Do you realize that if you dropped out of school and you say, you know what, I want to I want to do my own thing or I want to just do some diff. I don't want to go in the educational route. It was purposely designed to make you feel like you are handicapped in the real world because they kicked by that school system not knowing anything about finance. So they told you everything, but they did not teach you how to have experience with the one thing that is very important to survival in this day and age in this economy which is finance so like when you look at it you're basically if you left school at 18 you're basically zero years old in the real world you have to look at it that way if you're 26 you're basically only seven to eight years old understanding what the real world is because in school they they don't really teach what the, they'll teach you science yeah They'll teach you history, but they, they don't teach what the real world is. And the real world, actually, it revolves around money. Let's just cut the bullshit. Like, yeah, mental health, all of that. Yeah, it revolves around that too. But let's understand the core thing people want in this world is money, whether you believe it or not. And it's like, if the school system teaches us nothing about money, that means they want to breastfeed us through their system so we actually abide by their rules and we get our job at paid as a stable wage but it's like at the same time they still left you with no knowledge and no financial literacy not even one not even one class was about finance not even one class was about how to manage money not even one class was about it yeah they gave you math and all that which is a plus but let's just be honest about it when you leave these school systems and you drop out or whatever you leave at, at, at 18 Bro, they didn't give you any advice on how to actually make your money work for itself. They didn't. They didn't give you any advice on how to actually start some a type of business. They didn't ever give you that advice. So it's like, just understand that at these important ages, bro, of 18 to 26, you are still just a student in the game. You're a student. That's all, like, if you're understanding that wealth and actual finance is something that's going to keep your head up with water and finance, if you have money coming in, that's one of the things that won't switch upon you. Like human beings, like, but if you're at your down lowest and, or if you're down bad and everyone left you, but you still have income coming in, that means you can still afford the lie bill, you can still afford to eat, you can still afford to rent or own a place. But bro, if you have people switch upon you and you're broke, guess what? Now you're lonely and you're broke and you're struggling and there's nothing, no one to help you. So it's like, when you understand that, Money's a tool, bro, to level up. Like, don't worship money or nothing like that. But just understand, money is a is an energy, just like any other thing. 
So once you understand that, you have to understand, you have to learn what this energy is now. Money, it has a lot of comparisons with the law I was talking about. If you don't know what a law is and what the original meaning of the law is, it's land, air and water, right? Now, they have a lot of water related names in money that correlate with money just let me break it down little liquid that's the first one liquid what's liquid how much cash do you have liquidity how much can you actually like you know what i'm saying liquidity is how much cash you can deploy and all of that liquidity is how much cash you have on you so at the end of the day how much do you have liquid that is actually in a fiat currency you know what i'm saying that's that's liquid then you have the banks but hold on there's a water term for banks as well. What does the, what do the banks do? They stop erosion. They they prevent erosion. What do the banks actually do with money? They prevent erosion. They don't prevent erosion from your money. No, they prevent erosion from their money. They use your money to invest into assets to stop the erosion of their money because they know like holding all their wealth and their earnings in a, in fiat currency, they already know that's a waste of time. So that's what the banks do. They actually prevent erosion. Whether you know it or not, whether the, the inflation and the interest rates go up, their, their wealth and their assets are still protected. So they're pre preventing erosion through inflation of their money. See, that's another way. Banks, get it? The money banks, and then you have the actual river bank. Then you have the current currency. That's currency. And what is currency in physics? Currency is the flow, like currency is the current, and that I'm out of, I forgot it's what it's measured. I think it's measured in amp meter, and it's actually measured in ohms. Like ohms is the actual symbol. So once you understand that current is energy, guess what? Money is energy, and you can use it to your advantage. But these are not really things they could teach you in school. They don't understand how. They don't really teach you how you can manipulate these laws, bro. I'm still learning. I'm still a student, but I'm really learning that. Everything man made on this planet has a direct connection or mimic of nature. It does. Bro, the reason why I say money is use energy, because what did they what did they say? Money flow. Money flow. What flows? Water flows. You see the comparisons again with money and, and water? Do you see the comparisons again? There's a lot of comparisons. There's liquid, there's volume. Volume. Do you understand that like volume is an actual the, the how much volume does a pool have? So at the end of the day, you have to understand these things that all these terms they're linked with water, bro. Because they understand money is an energy just like just like a battery is an energy. Money is an energy just like anything else. Because why? It takes it takes energy for it to flow and circulate. Listen. You transferring something for money or anything in the stock exchange, any buy or any, it's energy, it's flowing. It has a current, just like a wave. I don't want to get too deep in, but that was kind of off top. I, that's literally freestyle. I've been reading about this stuff a lot. Not even reading. There's no books that I've learned this from. I heard one guy speaking about it and I really took it to the next level. I started taking notes on this. So expect like a little documentary type video on the how the money law is related to the to, to energy and nature like you're gonna understand there's a money law there's a business like you have to i'm gonna break a lot of stuff down if you want to see more like just understand that i got off topic but don't beat yourself up about money because you were never taught anything at school that's what i'm trying to say to you guys don't beat yourself up about money at a young age as long as you have a plan now, i'm not saying just be a lazy punk that don't work on trying to make more money and trying to study the game on how to actually acquire your finance and wealth if you just are doing nothing then you should be beating yourself up but if you actually make an effort to become something greater than what you are today and you are not currently there but you are doing the right things and you are actually learning and actually learning things that can make you money or whatever then you can't be yourself because even if you just if you're 25 if you're 25 right you are only seven years old in the real world because let's just let's just assume that you go into the real world when you were 18 you realize shit's really real out here in a, like in terms of you fucking need money out here and you were a student you were zero years old at 18 at 25 you, you've only had seven years to really learn what the real world is because at school they did not teach you that that's why I'm telling you guys, don't be too tough on yourself because you ain't in that jet. Don't be too tough on yourself because you ain't in that penthouse just yet or you're not driving that Ferrari, bro. You have to understand everything is a process. 
the same way that a wave, what do they say? Ripples can turn into waves. Bro, everything starts as a ripple. You got to understand those big ass waves you see, it was literally in, in the middle of the ocean, it started as ripples. The ripples get bigger. Let's just be honest, ripples build and build, but it, it, it can't start off that at the size it's going to end. You got to understand, you got to start that ripple. The ripple, if you got to start it. You, you have to take the first step. But once you take the first, first step, you can build on actually making a wave, bro. And one thing you have to understand, when you get there and when you achieve it, bro, you can't let that, you can't let the tide and the current control you, bro. You got to steer. You got to control the current, bro. If you start riding the money somehow, you become a multi-millionaire. Like, you have to make sure your mind's right. That's why we multitask. We got our minds right on the way of trying to find out how to get money. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I've had, like, I've had 50,000 when my mind went right, bro. And I still wasn't happy. I still wasn't like, if your mind's not, you have to have all these things right. Your health right, your mind right, and your wealth right. Repeat, your health right, your mind right, and your wealth right. Once you have them three, but if you have the wealth right, but you don't, or you, you have the money right, but you don't have the mind right, bro, that money might just disappear. So it's about a lot more than just, the success in the worldly things. We have to understand this is a whole process and people don't realize that, bro, it's a snowball effect. If you're at the top of the top of a snow mountain and you roll a snowball, guess what? It will keep getting more snow and it will build. It will build in size, but it's not an instant process. So don't be yourself that like you ain't a multi-millionaire yet. Don't do that. Like, understand what it takes to get to the levels you want to achieve and what you want to acquire. Understand it and study as much as you can. Study the components of what you need to reach this goal. And once you once you do that, bro, you have to start putting stuff in play to actually achieve these targets you set out. But it's all a long process. This could take 15 years and you have to be okay with that. Listen, I failed at so many attempts of stuff I wanted to do, bro. I failed so many times. I've attempted a lot of shit, bro, that didn't work out. I have. It took hella L's, but it's like, bro, most of these billionaires and millionaires, or most of these inventors, bro, it took them 100,000 attempts. A lot of them, it took them so many attempts before they got it right. So if you want to tap out, guess what? You can tap out, but you're looking at untapped potential if you tap out yeah you're missing out on untapped potential if you tap out you ever heard a saying like that before if you tap out you're missing out on untapped potential so don't tap out bro but that being said it was actually the man sub so signing out with another video hope you guys enjoyed the video i'm out